Today I'll talk about the great conjunction of the two planets Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter and Saturn will appear to be only 6 arc minutes apart. For scale this is only a tenth of how the Moon looks like to the naked eye. That's the last great conjunction that close we will see in our lives. So don't miss it. It's happening, Saturn and Jupiter are moving closer and will soon appear in almost exactly the same direction. Coincidentally, on the night of December solstice, the longest night of the year in the north and the longest day in the south, the long-awaited Great Conjunction will occur. Yeah, and a few days ago I got an A-Pod by NASA, so that's the astronomy picture of the day. This juxtaposition is not just any great conjunction. It will be the closest since 1623 because the two planetary giants will pass only one tenth of a degree from each other. In the next few days a crescent moon will also pass a few degrees away from the converging planets. Yeah, and I got it. So the crescent moon and the two planetary giants in just one single picture. On Instagram I got some very interesting comments and questions. One of the main questions was how taking images of the Great Conjunction. Well, it's possible with a normal camera what you have, even with a smartphone like this. I use um, this wide angle lens uh, that's uh, 14 to 24 millimeters and I really like it. So it's the best time to take skyscape images of them. And this is what the most people enjoy. Even with 50 millimeters, it's possible to capture the moons of Jupiter. These two planets are really low over the horizon and that's not easy to take crisp images of each planet. Especially for the planetary imaging, the air has to be very stable, so the seeing has to be really good. One question was, how to capture Saturn rings? Is an advanced equipment needed? In the most cases I use my traveler from astrophysics, but for this image I just used my camera from Nikon, that's the Coolpix P1000 my super zoom camera. So you can see <laughs> that's huge. Um, yeah, so it has a focal length of 3000 millimeters, so that's more than my telescope. And with this focal length it's possible to capture images of the rings of Saturn in just one single frame. I mean, that's impressive, right? I prefer images with a landscape, so with the planets in the backdrop if you want. If the weather is really good, you have to watch it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. I wish you all the best, Merry Christmas and see you next year. Clear skies.